Alright, let's do this. Showdown with the foreigner. Okay. Hmm. The only sound in the room is the style of scribbling away on the tablet. After hours upon hours of hard work, our 20-odd page manga is about to be born. Looking back on it now, I still can't quite tell if it was worth it or not. It's a strange feeling. Only two days left to go. It looks as though we'll be done on time. Only now, Master's starting to show signs of exhaustion. Not that I blame her. Since we can't have her burning out, I decided to have her take half a day off. Not very good at this sort of task. I suppose it's enjoyable enough, and I can certainly handle it if I think of it as training. But I don't suppose there's a more athletic way I could help. Uh-oh. Of course not. Just keep doing what you're doing. I must say, though, this is much more tiring than I thought it would be. At the beginning, I thought that drawing manga would be easy for servants like us. I know what you mean. I don't understand why Anderson and Shakespeare look so exhausted after one of their long writing sessions. Yeah. This creative stuff's a battle with your own mind. Being a servant doesn't make it any easier. Anyway, it's about time we... Uh, call him now? I got a bad feeling about this. I'll get it. Hey, it's the manager. That foreigner's out making a list of things on Main Street, so I was hoping you would drive her off. Say, right now? Oh, and you might want to be careful. She looks like she really means business this time. Thanks. She? She out of her armor? I guess Ushiwakamaru's bad feeling was prescient. The hell does Jekyll think we are anyway? Some kind of glorified pest control? Nah, he was right to come to us. It's easy to forget, but this is why we came here in the first place. Lady Alter, feel free to keep working on the manga. Master and I will take care of the foreigner. Hell no, I'm not. Even I'm not going to focus on my manga to the exclusion of everything else. Besides, I could use a break after drawing for so long. This ought to do the trick nicely. Shielder, wake Master up. Alright, I may be woefully inadequate for the task. But I'll do my best. What, waking me up or going to a fight? <laughs> Are you dreaming that you're foo? That was nice. <laughs> Good morning, Master. Here, I made you a cafe all light with milk and sugar. Good, I've confirmed the sugar has jolted your brain awake. Now come, we've got work to do. The foreigner has shown up on Main Street. We need to drive her away. <laughs> I will destroy everything. Okay. Still in its armor. How did people know it was a female? I've already seen this bit, so let's just go ahead and do the old skip button, sure. You say that, but it's always new content. After defeating the foreigner. Oh, okay. Well, yo, Caldeans, once again you kicked that foreigner's ass like it was nothing. Yeah. Uh... It definitely wasn't nothing, quadruple D. Is it just me, or is that foreigner even stronger than what she was? Hmm. Wow, Demon Door. Wow, Demon Poor on the loose. How could this happen? All I did was make a campfire on Diamond Head. Do not blame me for this. There's not a king in the world who would not be inspired to make a campfire at such a beautiful vista. Oink, oink. What the? Where'd that come up? Who would it come from? I don't remember any giant pig thing on my Lulu Hawa. Now, where did I put that club list? Here it is. Looks like that thing belongs to Ketermalkuth Hohenheim, one of the Wonder Stage clubs. Let's see, one-on-one -on -one scale replica series, tw 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 age of 17 up, the life-size figure recreates the original's imposing destructive power and glorious detail. The eroticism of the armor plating that seems as though it's about to fall off at any moment is... What is it with casters and their weirdly specific fetishes? Uh, their shut-ins. A to agree with quadruple D, but for once, looks like we're on the job to for this. We need to stop that machine. It's a machine? I guess it is Hohenheim, but Hohenheim's like Philosopher's Stone, so wouldn't his stuff still be organic? Considering, you know? If we can get Robin as normal Phantasm, this file will be over real fast.
thought about it, and then I decided to go with this instead. Fight's over. I was expecting you to lose the hundred thousand bones. Glad that's all settled. Thanks for the help, Terry Rada. Pella's influence when I'm in this form is a little too strong for me when it comes to enemies of that type. It makes it so that whenever I face a pig monster, I uh, end up destroying it so brutally that it makes everyone else cringe. <clears throat> and nobody wants to see that from a swimsuit clad beauty, right? Right, it had to be Pella. No other explanation. Anyway, the night's safe now, and all that stinks to you guys. I hope you continue to enjoy your stay in Luluhawa. Of course, that goes for your dojin efforts, too. Only two days to go until Servant Fest, Jean Alter. I can't wait to see you finish. Properly printed book. Uh huh. If you can take first place in sales numbers too, well, that would be just peachy. I think that's almost certainly asking too much. I may be an amateur when dealing with Doji, but I don't see what any way for a newly formed club like ours to outperform skilled and seasoned veterans. Yes, I know. It really is much easier said than done, isn't it? Whoops. That's enough extra hint dropping. Anyway, this damn street isn't going to repair itself. Why don't you all go back to the hotel and let little old me handle this? Enjoy your servant fest time, senpai. I know the feeling. Ooh, quadruple D? I guess I see it. If she really does have Pele the Volcano Gallus installed as one of her sub-functions, that'd make her actually kind of badass. Yeah, it's shortening my lifespan. From what I know about Pele, she was a goddess of fire who came to Hawaii for the land of the gods. From her sister, the goddess of water, ended up killing her, but even that wouldn't keep her down. She went on to rule Hawaii's volcanoes with her mind alone. From then on, no one could touch her. She was lots of she has lots of love to give, but she also takes it away. She's a goddess of civilization who granted fire to the people, and she's also the goddess of destruction who took that same civilization away. And just like Hawaii's volcanoes are still active, Pele still lives on in Kilauea. Although, although. Nah, it's nothing. I'll tell you some other time. Right now, we need to focus on work. Yeah, right, let's keep drawing. Shining Queen! That sounds like a JoJo's uh, stand. Shining Queen! This is my life now. Drawing, drawing, and more drawing. The goal might finally be in sight, but that doesn't mean I can slow down. Sometimes I get the feeling that this is all wrong. Sometimes it feels like everything's fine. I come this far on passion alone. At this point, I can't tell if I went the right way or not. But it won't be much longer until this comes to an end now. Hey, Roddy, you okay? I'm gonna hit the sack myself. I didn't think I needed to sleep as a servant, but maybe it'll help me get my head straight about some stuff. Go ahead and spend the time however you want. If you don't have anything to do, you can always go outside for a while. Good idea. We've been doing nothing about but work and sleep since yesterday. Why don't we go to the beach, Master? A little dip in the ocean should help you loosen up. I'll go with you then. I think I'll join too. I'm sure you're fine with Ushawaka Mara around, but in my role as Hawaii Hood, I'd better. I'd feel better having an eye on things just in case. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Oh, there seems to be quite a commotion over there. 
Looks like a bunch of overworked men to me. Maybe there's some kind of event happening today. Yeah, Medby's orgy. I see they're not servants. Some of them look to be Lord Blackbeard's men, while others are... Celtic soldiers. Yep. Then that would mean... Yeah, I figured. You guys just can't take it anymore, huh? Didn't I tell you to wait here like good boys? I knew it. It's Medby. She's got a stage slash bed? Great, her again. Whatever she's doing here, it can't be good. You guys can't see what she's doing? Take a look around. Beautiful beach, beautiful sea, beautiful sky. Starting to notice a theme by now? Maybe the word beautiful has started to lose all meaning. Well, you're in luck. This queen's about to personally remind you who the word beautiful suits best. Rejoice, my little worker bees. Let me see you cry and joy my unbridled generosity. Hmm, yes, that's the stuff. Now then. Announcing the Medbee contest. A Medbee production brought to you by Medbee 4, Medbee. You rock, Medbee. Woo, I always wanted to say that. Here's this month's tribute. I risk life and limb to bring it back to you from the Bering Sea. Look this way, your majesty. Please, I'll do anything you want. Alright, simps. The hell is this? Well, knowing Mebby, I can't say I'm too surprised that she'd do something like this. Never mind that now. Take a look at that. That was entry number one. The strong, noble, adorable, and unquestionably beautiful Medby. Thank you, Medby. Thank you for those irreplaceable summer memories. Never mind summer. You're going to want to remember those for the rest of your lives. Now, let's start... To move on to the scoring portion, what say you, judging boys? Turn, 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 turn. Unbelievable! It's a perfect score. Medby's invisible. She's mythical. She's a living legend of beauty. Nobody else even comes to throw some cheese at this bitch. Oh my! This is so unexpected. What can I say? I can't help that I'm just so gorgeous. Sorry, not sorry. What a farce! They're all obviously in cahoots, or rather, they're all even bigger idiots than she is. Woo hoo! Kyo kyo! Hoo hoo hoo! Yeah, she admitted when she said it was all made by her for her. No way this is on the up and up. If it were only a question of her embarrassing herself, we could simply ignore this self-servicing exercise in shamelessness. But the problem is... Her ability to get all these men so worked up. Remember, our faith rests... Fate rests on a popularity contest in Servant Fest. The more she gains from this travesty, the more we stand to lose... As such, I believe it would behoove us to stop before it goes too far. Why do you never talk about chopping your head off? Oh, I thought it smelled like a horrendous yokel from out in the sticks. If it isn't the mountain mutt, come to play in civilization. Did you really not know that beautiful people get more votes? It's like a law of nature. That's true. Do you ever shut up? You remind me of nothing so much as a hapless cow straying on the shore. Is this some sort of barbecue? Are you trying to make amends for your many crimes by offering yourself to the grill? Huh, I should have known a dog wouldn't be able to stop herself from barking incessantly. I'm not trying to drum up attention to give me an advantage at Servant Fest. Why bother? My photo book's gonna sell more copies than anything else there, no matter what. This contest I whipped up is just a way to further spread the glory of my beauty throughout the world. Don't be preposterous. This is obviously a ploy to drive up sales. You even came up with a fake quote for your ad copy. Queen of the beach, now queen of the books. How unspeakably rude. Fine then, if you've got that much of a problem, why don't you compete, Bel Delphine? That's who she is, Medby. If you think I don't deserve it, beat me. I'm always happy to accept new entrants, unless you think you're not up to it. You Japanese warriors don't fight, like to fight battles you know you can't win. Just going to roll over and belly up like a cowardly thing you are? Oh, I get it. That's why you run around with your midriff exposed. Gee, I... Speak for yourself! Hey, I do hope you can forgive me. Okay, well, then I accept your challenge. You want to do this thing? We'll do this thing. Uh, calm down. There's no point in competing with men being our own contest. What are we not? I am told that exposure is the greatest weapon of the summer, and I am bearing at least as much as she is. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but regardless, I have the matter well in hand. Get a hold of yourself. The only contest where outfit design matters are French fashion ones. Your uh, sporty looks aren't going to be nearly enough to win this thing. Say the lectures for later. You're reminding me of my brother. At this point, I can no longer Ushiwakama. I'm Tingu, woman of the beach. In the name of Mount Kurama, I refuse to lose the city trash like that. Now, on to the swimsuit competition. You've heard of a catwalk, right? Let's do this. On the catwalk. Yeah. Seven, 
She's certainly very sporty, but she uh, she just doesn't have the same flair that Medby does. We're at a beach resort, not an athletic meet. If we wanted to watch amazing physical physical feats, we'd go somewhere else. She fits my type to a T, so normally I'd be all over her, but since we're in Lulu Hawaii, I have to give it to Queen Medby this time. Well, well, color me impress you, Shiwaka. You did better than I thought you would. But hey, don't feel bad. You could never have beaten beauty like mine. In fact, you should be proud. I thought you'd be walking away with straight zeros. Uh, I mean, forget that. This is so-called competition, and the way it's scored isn't the point at all. The point is that holding it in the first place is wrong. As far as I can tell, you don't even have any other contestants. There's no point in holding a sad, meaningless contest like this where you're the only one competing and your victory is assured. Oh, who said I was the only one competing? I mean, you're not? Of course not. Entry number three and four will be along any moment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my sponsor seat. Enjoy the show, everyone. My victory is definitely assured, but now it's going to be clinched after a white-hot battle like that. Oh, but you won't be one of them, Terrify. This contest is servants only, so stay on the sidelines where it's safe. Of course, if you insist on being my rival, I won't stop you. Well, I guess that makes sense. She's nothing if not supremely confident in her looks. She might not be above cheating in war, but I don't think it even occurred to her to cheat when it comes to a beauty contest. Huh, is that so? You certainly know a lot about her, don't you, Lord Robin? I'm just observant. Look, here they come. Oh my, this seems like fun. Oh ho, I take it this is some sort of battle to determine the queen of the beach? Did someone say contest? A contest means prizes, and in summer prizes mean watermelon and shaved ice. What the hell kind of stage is that? Wait a minute, this is it. Why rock and roll legend, here I come. It's the other swimsuit servants. They're all here, too. Attention all contestants and spectators. We have an announcement from Mebby. There's room for more than a single flower on the beach. Why settle for only one? So I hereby decree that the top three contestants will all be crowned first place. This concludes our announcement from Mebby. <laughs> Woohoo! That's the spirit. You rock, Mebby. <sighs> I'll be damned. I never thought she'd be that willing to share the spotlight. Who knows? Maybe Hawaiian... Hawaii's rubbing off on her. Now then. Next up in the Diamond Medby contest, we have entry number three, handpicked by Medby herself. One of our dear spectators, Mash Curielite. According to Medby, she was picked because anyone wearing a swimsuit is her rival. Are you there, Mash? We know you are. Come on up to the stage. Uh, what should I do? Is this Medby's way of being nice? She doesn't have friends. And I guess she's a hunter at heart. Alright, I guess I better go then. I'll do my best to show off how nice my shield is. Pretty sure they're not here to see your shield. But then again, that sort of thing is what makes MASH so great. Anyway, let's go find some seats. I got a feeling we're going to be here for a good while, so we might as well see how it all turns out. She does have the skirt thing going on pretty strong. Fives. Because you guys are assholes and want to see skin. Solid eights, I'm sure. Why is it not even showing scores? I still don't get how Medby's popular. Skithak should win this, hands down. She's got the, the chest for it. And the outfit, honestly. Arthur's trying to make up for some missing assets with the butt. Which is typical, honestly. <sighs> that was great! A veritable festival of 15 bathing beauties! Let's have another round of applause for our contestants! I'd say beauties and bathing. They're all really pretty. They all look so cool on stage. I agree with that. Visually speaking, that was just one of what the doctor ordered. Yeah, bathing beauties. Contest is really coming to an end. Huh, if the top three are all taking first place, I guess that means the ones besides Medby are... Oh, wait a minute! We have a new last-minute entrant! This contest isn't over yet! Come on, entry number 16! With Thunder and Cracker for Whip, it's... It's... Oh. Hi. It's Medby in a leather swimsuit. Ooh, how risque. Huh? Now, let's get to scoring. This is gonna be a close one, folks. 10-10-10-10! 
I don't believe it. Another round of perfect scores. I like that outfit better, honestly. But don't go just yet. We have a final, final entrant. Last one of the day, we promise. It's Medby again. In her usual swimsuit-like outfit. Now on to the score. 10, 10, 10, 10. Now the full set of perfects. Incredible. We're witnessing history in the making, folks. In an unprecedented turn of events, all three Medbees win with perfect scores. I'm so moved I can't stop crying. What an amazing, incredibly legendary contest! The top three contestants are Medby, Medby, and Medby. Our queen sweeps the contest with a Grand Slam hat trick. You rock, Medby, you rock, you rock, Medby. Jesus Christ, dudes. Fucking calm down. It's ultimate simps over here. I'm back, Masters. Too bad I didn't place higher, but it was still a lot of fun. Your shield's still awesome. I'm not gonna fucking be like that. So what'd you think? What do I think? I think you're 51 short of a full deck. I can't believe it. Even in my wildest dreams, I never thought she would stoop this low. Why, whatever are you talking about? Did I say contestants couldn't enter multiple times? Don't blame me for this, Poochie. Blame your own lack of spirit origin variations. Oh, before I forget, I'm not thinking about how my victory here might affect Servant Fest, ses fest fe sales. Since Holy Grails are all about giving people what they want, and if people want as me, well, you do see where I'm going with this, right? I should thank that quadruple D chick sometime for giving me this perfect opportunity. Like they say, third time's a charm. This time, I'll finally take the Holy Grail for myself and use it to turn this island into my ideal slave land. Well, see you at Servant Fest, I guess. Obviously, I'm going to grab the most sales by far, but who knows? Maybe you guys will do really well and manage to sell almost a tenth of as many bucks as me. A little... That's quick. Give me the snack bag. I'm sure we still had some string cheese in there. It's my duty as a tinker to punish the wicked. I must melt, pelt her with cheese until she repents. I think she'll just instinctually roundhouse it again. That impertinent winch. Very well, then. I will simply pelt her with the manner of other snacks. Please calm down, Ushamakamaru. That won't accomplish anything besides feeding the seagulls. Good grief. Well, technically, this was still a change of pace course. Whether it was a good change or not is debatable. Debatable? Well, maybe not for you, my condolences. Anyway... I say we head to our, back to our room. Sleeping Beauty ought to be waking up soon. Still fast asleep. Maybe we should wake her up? Okay, I'll do it. Uh, hey, wake up. Kick her in the face. No one are too sleepy. Just five more minutes, please. Oh, that's adorable. I'm afraid we can't let her stay in bed all day. Reese, would you be so kind as to wake her up? Huh? What's that smell? It smells like rotten fish. Ah! Good morning. Sorry to wake you like that. What? Huh? She came to hang out. Good morning. Hang out? What is she doing here? We're supposed to finish our drafts today, so I just wanted to see how yours was coming along. And since your other club members were having trouble waking you up, I thought Reese and I we could help. You call that helping? No wonder it literally smelled fishy in here. Serving fest is tomorrow. There's only one day left to go. We're going to have so much fun once we both finish our final drafts. Her sounds like she already finished hers. We only got a little ways to go. Yeah, true. All right, this is the last day. Let's draw us some dojin. All right, let's cut that there for now.